You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Folks, finally, there's a black woman who's a CEO of a Fortune 500 company again. Walgreens. Go Rise! My, my classmate. From Morehouse and Stella. Can I please can I please tell everybody else the story? One more thing. <laughs> can, can I please tell everybody else the story? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Kill microphones. Walgreens has tapped Starbucks operating chief uh, Rosalind Brewer as its next CEO. Once Brewer steps into her position, she will be the only black woman leading a Fortune 500 company. Before her was Ursula Burns, uh, who stepped down when Xerox was sold. Now, Brewer is also chairwoman of Spelman College's Board of Trustees, and previously she was the director at Lockheed Martin and Molson Coors Beverage. Now, the announcement comes as investors, regulators, and activists have been pushing for more diversity in corporate America. Brewer is slated to take on her new role as the CEO of Walgreens in late February. You might remember she also was before she went to Starbucks, the CEO of uh, Sam's, uh, excuse me, uh, Sam's Club with Walmart. Okay, now, Monique, go. Man, congratulations, <laughs> Queen Roz. I am so happy and I am just thankful that I have been on this journey and able to see from from not a distance uh, what it's like for a sister to rise and rise and rise. And I've been watching for at least 10 years um, for Roland, for Scott, whoever's on here, my cousin Millie and and Queen mm -hmm. Ross Brewer, our dear friends. And so that's how I was able to meet her. So we've been able to, to share and partake in conversation and in joyous times and in conversations um, about what it means to be a black woman in America who is rising, uh, whether anybody likes it or not. And so she's surrounded by so many other people who have supported her, but what she's <coughs> doing, man, it's, it's amazing. And, and Starbucks lost it, you know, is, is Walgreens game. Um, and I'm just, I'm, I can't explain my joy. Congratulations to you, Rosalind Brewer. Well done. All right, Scott, go on here since you were hollering earlier. Uh, good sister from Detroit, Michigan. Detroit. <laughs> Class of 84, Spellman. Um, uh, just really, really good people. Um, uh, Roz is who she was in 84, same personality, very down to earth, but uh, intellect sharp as ever, uh, fearless and committed to her, her, her community. And I uh, can't be more proud. Uh, she married to a pie chapter nuke from Morehouse. I made him. He's good people. He's a leading businessman in Atlanta. And that, so that, that's really relevant. Can't say enough. Can't say <laughs> can, enough can you stay family. focused on her? That's really irrelevant. I, great I know you didn't tell me to stay focused on. Yes, Rob. I did. That's really relevant. Let me go. Let me go to. Let me go to Rob Pertillo, who's the only one who knows how to main decorum uh, when uh, on a show. Robert, go ahead. Decorum. I think we got we got to give shout outs to the AEC, you know, Clark Atlanta, Morris Brown, Morehouse, Spellman, uh, some of the greatest That's leaders right. in this country walk, have walked through that promenade. Uh, I think it's really important that we also focus on HBCUs because many of us, when we thought about going to HBCUs, the thing the guidance counselor said is, well, don't you want to go to a school that will prepare you for uh, for the real world? You know, the real world's not just going to be black people. So don't you want to go to Georgia State or something along those lines? That's what they told me back there a couple <laughs> right. decades ago. Now, we know good and well that being going to an HBCU prepares you to be a CEO of a Fortune 500 company, vice president of the United States of America, and anything else under the sun. So let's give a shout out to the HBCUs that were incubators for generations for black America. And now that is finally starting to flourish because they, we've taken that boot of oppression so much off of us. And now we can see what uh, what the products really are that are coming out. Uh, 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 uh. You, you know... Sorry. <laughs> you need Rose. Uh, can I come back next week? Hell no. <laughs> we we all need a break. 
Um, <laughs> all right, folks, back to our Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends. Go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.